Welcome back to today's more report, Charles Prazers on Friday the 7th of October with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hand Tech Markets. Looking at dollar yen now, and uh, we've had this sort of eight candles in a row of strong gains. Um, today is a bit of a consolidation move, really. You've got the uh, the issue over non farm payrolls and also the um, flash crash for sterling, sort of driving a little bit of safe haven um, flow, and uh, subsequently, dollar yen, the rally on dollar yen has just started to stall a little bit. Um, underneath the 104.30 level, which is key resistance yesterday's high 104.15. Um, you can see on the hourly chart whereby you do actually have these momentum indicators which are slightly sort of dropping away. Slightly dropping away, certainly the MACD lines and the stochastics. So the consolidation is sort of having an impact. Um, 103.35 I think is interesting because that is an old breakout level and also f found support yesterday so you argue that if you break below that that's the top pattern and you could measure sort of 80 ticks really 80 ticks to the downside uh, from 104.15 to 103.35 is the 80 ticks and then you measure that down to 102.55 is around about not a million miles off this sort of consolidation pattern here so I think that's a realistic possibility um, but certainly at the moment I would still be looking at sort of buying into dips because I think that the um, the uh, the market has changed the outlook on dollar yen now um, and it's looking increasingly positive so a little uh, near term correction might not be the worst thing in the world for dollar yen but um, obviously there's going to be a lot of volatility with non-farm panels this afternoon dollar yen is a very um, sensitive pair for payrolls um, a strong payroll support would be certainly strong dollar and um, week for the yen so uh, subsequently that would pull dollar yen higher so i wish you good luck in your training today and i will speak to you later thank you